I've ran up to the crash symbols on our drummer and I'll just be like, ah! and, it, and he'll be like, no, don't do that. And then my bass player will be like, hmm, actually, that would work perfectly right here, 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 and like blah, blah, blah. And then we'll both be like, whoa, you're right. I am Kevin Patrick Davey. I go by Patrick, which is my middle name. I am from Telford, PA. I love music. Music is probably the most important thing in like my entire world. Music has done so much for me. I've gone through a good amount of hardships. Like at home life isn't always the easiest thing. Both my parents are really creative actually. Like my dad had his whole music and songs he was their lead singer he was their lyrics writer they were divorced my whole life but like going back and forth between houses it's like gives you a lot of time to be listening to music in the car i write songs about helping myself like to like feel better or to heal from pain or or like uh, experiencing loss And I just go like, my life is a passing by me. I cannot uh, uh, yeah. I'm find serenity. I need life. I've dealt with teachers that don't like me, teachers that are patient with me. I ask tons of questions. I'm very curious in, in a classroom. I've had teachers pull me aside and tell me to be careful with my art or something like that because there's a certain person in a class that didn't like me, that didn't want me to do well. It just brought up like a bunch of challenges in a good way. Like if I didn't push myself senior year and take like two clay classes, I probably wouldn't have even been an applicant for the scholarship and like I, uh, I started dating my girlfriend towards the end of this year but uh, she helped me kind of get the confidence to be able to go on stage and perform in front of like upwards of like a thousand people. Like, this is my dream that I'm going to be able to do now because of you. Because you're the person who read the letter. not. Not my teachers. They told me to write the letter, but as soon as I wrote it and I handed it to Mrs. Cole, she just gave me like a, a smile on her face. And then she called me down to the office like a week later and she was like, yeah, you got to see your word. I'm like, what? I'm like, huh. They're listening more than I think. It's a confusing time for everybody my age. Like high school just ended. It's like the next step is like you becoming your own person. It felt like someone could believe in me, finally. It makes me feel like, like I was doing something right. That's really what everyone wants to feel in some ways, that they are a little special in a, in a unique way. This is a personal thing that you are giving to me, and it's like I can feel like that you have like hope that I'm going to do something good with this. And It's really nice that, one, you're doing that in memory of your brother, and two, that you would even think of me to be someone that could accept it. It's like both of those things, it's just like, that's, that's just, this is a really amazing thing. Most of uh, the scholarship is going to be for the art aspect of like, maybe helping me find like a graphic designer. It's going to be to help me express the creativity in ways I can't do by myself. would want to use it more to like a get a potter's wheel, and, like get equipment, and, like start throwing. I know who I am and I know what I want to do and I have like a good idea on what I want to do with my music or my art or my pottery or all of them kind of together or finding some kind of way to make it so that all my art is kind of one thing. I just felt like I, I finally like got a grip on like the things I was good at. I enjoy them, they make me happy. It's not, there isn't really that many take backs from it. It's more of like, I'm doing it with people that I care about and love. It's, like, it's a really amazing feeling to have worked so hard for something. Remember that you're also human too. It's a, like, 
you're not perfect. You can't be perfect. You can try as hard as you want and you will never succeed when you realize that like you're not perfect and it's totally okay to not be perfect. You're just one step closer to like like having some like happiness for yourself and understanding that like you have potential will lead you to chase that dream. It's just like don't give up on yourself. Find your potential. Everybody has it. Most of life is just finding what you're good at. And then as soon as you find what you're good at, then you should just get up and run with it. And a lot of people get scared because it's like, it's hard to get up and run with what you're good at sometimes. It's just like some people struggle and others don't. But it's just, it's the sooner that you can find that thing that feels like you, like you're just one step closer on the way of like your success.